Now to the COVID vaccine updates. Today, an FDA advisory panel voted in favor of booster shots for certain at-risk groups fully vaccinated with Moderna. The FDA itself would have to sign off, and so would the CDC. But the recommendation is to allow people 65 and older, adults with underlying medical conditions, and frontline workers to get a third dose of Moderna six months after their second one. Those guidelines have already been approved for Pfizer vaccine recipients. Tomorrow, the panel will discuss a booster for Johnson & Johnson. Certain at-risk groups who got Pfizer have already been getting their boosters. These boosters are meant to reduce the risk of a breakthrough COVID infection. Vanessa Rufus explains what these shots are actually boosting and how that plays into what's likely happening in your body when you become a breakthrough case. Since scientists developed the COVID vaccines, we've heard they're not 100% but they are highly effective at preventing serious outcomes from COVID-19. And those who are vaccinated but still catch the virus will likely have milder or no symptoms at all. But why are some vaccinated people able to fend off the virus completely while others go on to test positive? For one explanation, we go to the CDC, an infectious disease specialist with Novant Health, Dr. David Priest. Let's start with what happens when you first become fully vaccinated. Your body catches a surge in antibodies and other immune cells. It's like building a big security fence around your home. You're able to stop intruders before they can get in at all. For six months after you get the vaccine, not only does it prevent you from you know, keep you out of the hospital from dying, it also keeps you from getting asymptomatic or mild cases pretty well. After a while, those initial antibodies start to wane. The fence starts to get a little run down, but your body still has memory cells. Those would be like the blueprints on how to rebuild the fence if needed. Now let's say COVID comes along while your fence is all broken. Your body rushes to find that blueprint. Your memory cells take a little bit of time to get ramped up again when you're exposed to the virus. It's gotta make more neutralizing antibodies. Your body starts to build back its fence, but some COVID has already gotten in, enough to make you mildly sick, but not enough to do more damage. You're a breakthrough case, but the vaccine has still done its job. So where does a booster shot come in? So what that third dose does is really just say, we're gonna give you a little bit more neutralizing antibodies to help you avoid it altogether even though you're pretty protected from hospitalization and death. It's like preventative maintenance on that fence. So COVID doesn't even have a shot of getting in.